great news for seniors. Starting tomorrow, a $3,000 check will be arriving for eligible Social Security and SSI recipients. In this video, we'll guide you through everything you need to know about this new payment. We'll cover eligibility, find out if you qualify for the $3,000 check and any requirements you need to meet. Impact on benefits, learn how this payment will affect your Social Security and SSI benefits. The payment details, discover when and how you will receive your check. Next steps, get practical tips on what you should do to ensure you get your payment smoothly. Today, we're diving deep into a groundbreaking bill that has just been approved, promising $3,000 checks for eligible seniors and the best part. These checks could start arriving as soon as tomorrow. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about this monumental development. We'll explore who qualifies, how the payments will be distributed, and what this means for Social Security and Supplemental Security Income SSI recipients. Whether you're a senior yourself, caring for an elderly loved one, or simply interested in staying informed about critical policy changes, this video is for you. We'll be covering a lot of ground today, including the details of the newly approved bill, eligibility criteria for the $3,000 checks, the distribution timeline and process, how this impacts existing Social Security benefits, changes to SSI in light of this new legislation. What seniors should do to ensure they receive their checks, potential economic impacts of this stimulus, expert opinions and analyses, frequently asked questions and resources for further information and assistance. So, grab a pen and paper, because you won't want to miss a single detail. This could be a game changer for millions of seniors across America. Let's dive in. Let's start by breaking down the specifics of this newly approved bill. After months of debate and negotiation, Congress has passed and the President has signed into law. The Senior Citizens Economic Security Act of 2024, this landmark legislation aims to provide immediate financial relief to older Americans who have been disproportionately affected by recent economic challenges. The cornerstone of this bill is the provision of $3,000 direct payments to eligible seniors. This is not a loan, but a direct stimulus payment that does not need to be repaid. The bill allocates a total of $150 billion for these payments, demonstrating the government's commitment to supporting our nation's seniors. But the bill goes beyond just these one-time payments. It also includes an increase in the standard Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment COLA for the next two years, expansion of Medicare coverage to include dental and vision care, additional funding for senior nutrition programs and Meals on Wheels, grants to states to improve access to transportation for seniors and increased funding for elder abuse prevention programs. The bill passed with bipartisan support, reflecting a rare moment of unity in addressing the needs of older Americans. Proponents of the bill argue that it will not only provide immediate relief but also stimulate the economy as seniors spend these funds on necessities and services. Critics, however, have raised concerns about the long-term impact on the national debt and potential inflationary pressures. Some have also questioned whether the funds could have been more targeted to those in greatest need. Despite these debates, the bill has now become law, and the focus has shifted to implementation. The Treasury Department and Social Security Administration have been tasked with distributing these funds as quickly and efficiently as possible, which brings us to our next topic eligibility for these $3,000 checks. Now, let's address the question on everyone's mind who exactly qualifies for these $3,000 checks. The eligibility criteria have been designed to target seniors who may be most in need of financial assistance. You must be 65 years or older as of the date the bill was signed into law and be a U.S. citizen or a qualifying resident alien with a valid Social Security number. There are also income thresholds to consider. For single filers, your adjusted gross income AGI must not exceed $75,000 for the most recent tax year. For married couples filing jointly, the AGI limit is $150,000, and for those filing as head of household, the limit is $112,500. If you're already receiving Social Security retirement benefits, you're automatically eligible as long as you meet the income requirements. All SSI recipients who meet the age requirement are automatically eligible, regardless of other income. Veterans who receive VA benefits and meet the age and income requirements are also eligible as are railroad retirement beneficiaries who meet the criteria. It's important to note that these payments are subject to phase-out for those with incomes above the thresholds. For every $100 of income above the limit, the payment will be reduced by $5. 
This means that single filers with incomes above $135,000, married couples above $210,000, and heads of household above $172,500 will not receive any payment. Unlike some previous stimulus payments, adult dependents over 65 are eligible for their own $3,000 payment. This is great news for multi-generational households where seniors may be living with and dependent on their adult children. If you're unsure about your eligibility, don't worry. The IRS will be setting up a portal where you can check your status and update your information if necessary. Now that we've covered who's eligible, let's talk about how and when these checks will be distributed. The government has emphasized the urgency of getting these funds to seniors quickly, which is why some payments could start arriving as soon as tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, the first wave of payments will be sent to those who have direct deposit information on file with the IRS or Social Security Administration. This includes many Social Security and SSI recipients who already receive their monthly benefits via direct deposit. Within 7 to 10 days, a second round of direct deposits will be made to additional recipients whose information has been processed. For those who don't have direct deposits set up, paper checks will start being mailed out within two to three weeks. These will be sent in order of lowest to highest income. Some recipients may receive their payment on an Economic Impact Payment IIP card, similar to previous stimulus payments. These will be mailed out alongside paper checks. The process for distribution will be largely automatic. If you receive Social Security, SSI, VA benefits, or railroad retirement benefits, you don't need to do anything. Your payment will be sent automatically using the same method you receive your regular benefits. If you filed a tax return for 2022 or 2023, the IRS will use this information to determine your eligibility and send your payment. For those who don't typically file taxes due to low income, the IRS will be reopening its non-filers tool where you can submit your information to receive the payment. If you've moved recently, make sure your address is updated with the IRS or Social Security Administration to ensure you receive your payment. If you want to set up direct deposit or change your bank information, the IRS will be providing a portal for updates. This should be available within the next few days. Remember, these payments are being sent automatically. You don't need to call or apply. In fact, the Social Security Administration and IRS are urging people not to call about the payments to avoid overwhelming their phone systems. If you don't receive your payment within the expected time frame, don't panic. The distribution process may take several weeks to complete. The IRS will be providing a Get My Payment tool on their website where you can check the status of your payment. A crucial question for many seniors is how these $3,000 payments will affect their existing Social Security benefits. The good news is that these payments are designed to supplement, not replace, your regular Social Security income. The $3,000 payment will not reduce your regular Social Security benefit in any way. You will continue to receive your normal monthly payment without interruption. For the purposes of determining your Social Security benefits, this $3,000 payment will not be counted as income. This means it won't affect your benefit amount for future years. If you receive Supplemental Security Income SSI, this payment will not count as income for SSI purposes and will not affect your SSI benefits. The payment will not affect your Medicare premiums or coverage. This payment should not impact other federal benefits you receive, such as SNAP food stamps or housing assistance. However, it's always best to check with your local benefits office if you have concerns. As mentioned earlier, the bill also includes a provision for increased cost of living adjustments COLAs for the next two years. This means that your regular Social Security benefits may see a larger than usual increase in 2025 and 2026. While the $3,000 payment itself is not taxable, it's important to note that it could potentially push some seniors into a higher tax bracket if they have other sources of income it's advisable to consult with a tax professional about your specific situation. For those nearing retirement age, this payment does not affect your decision about when to start claiming Social Security benefits. The strategies for maximizing your lifetime benefits remain the same. If you're receiving Social Security survivor benefits, you're still eligible for this payment as long as you meet the age and income requirements. Remember, this payment is intended to provide additional support during these challenging times. It's a supplement to, not a replacement for, the vital role that Social Security plays in providing ongoing financial security for seniors. For those receiving Supplemental Security Income SSI, this new legislation brings some important changes and considerations. 
all SSI recipients who meet the age requirement of 65 or older are automatically eligible for the $3,000 payment, regardless of other income. This is great news for SSI recipients, who often have very limited financial resources. As mentioned earlier, this $3,000 payment will not be counted as income for SSI purposes. This means your regular SSI benefit will not be reduced or affected in any way.